What is up, you lovely, beautiful people? How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in to another video. This is, well, you know what, I was just going to do this as a test video and not put it up. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but I think we'll be all right. Um, I'm actually, as you can tell, the camera is sat right there. Neil is here. You're not on the helmet cam. Um, I just purchased, came in uh, the mail this morning. It's called the Zoom HN, H1N. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. The microphone is also in the description. This microphone is amazing. <clears throat> I've been using this on the channel ever since I started doing these EUC videos. Um, but I've decided to purchase something like this. So I've got the mic input there, which is running through the jacket into the side of the helmet. And I've just mounted the, the microphone inside this full face helmet here. Perfect uh, destination for it. Because uh, it also sort of protects it from the... Um, from the wind that's right i'm gonna pop this in my pocket <clears throat> it's a shame that that is on the side there but i think we'll be all right it would be nice if it's on the top of the bottom anyway either way the microphone receiver the audio receiver is in the pocket and we will get on our way so yes this is good this is really good we'll talk a bit more about it as it's getting the thick gloves on this is the new jacket Underneath the pants, I've got some uh, thermals and I've got my proper like winter waterproof boots on as well. So let's get you out there. Uh, not use this in the ages. Make sure we check us all right. Right in the InMotion V8. I feel like I need to say that because if you're new to the channel, and you're not sure what, what I ride then it needs to be told, doesn't it? So we can get past this here. Now, I've not ridden with a stick <coughs> in ages. Uh, I have been avoiding it for the longest time. I did, at one point at the beginning of the channel, I did have the GoPro with the stick on the GoPro Karma Grip, which did bring some really nice, super smooth results but also brought with it a little bit of, uh, I guess, danger, really. Um, so focused on trying to get that shot, um, and especially because the Karma Grip, if you're not aware of it, it, is quite chunky. So I sort of went away from that and just went through the head cam for the longest time um, until recently until today actually I decided to yeah purchase one of these microphone receivers because a big part of this video is the audio isn't it it's me chatting breeze about what is going on in the new environment surrounding new city I've um, I've come to and hopefully take you guys around um, and show you about but I've, what I've sort of been finding is that I want to make. I, you don't. <laughs> we've got plenty of time to try and explain it, Neil. Don't you worry. What I wanted to do is just to make sure, just to show that, yeah, like in the description it says electric unicycle, and that's all my pushing. I'm pushing for the electric unicycle movement, but you don't really get to see it in the whole video until the very, I guess, the beginning and the end. I might pop my head down and you get to see it briefly. Um, and I've sort of been avoiding the pole because uh, you know I want to pay attention to the road and my surroundings is, is very important especially being around pedestrians in city environments um, so I might we'll see how this one turns out I've not like I said not got the the gimbal on here I wanted to keep it as light as possible um, and some of you regular viewers you definitely are aware that <coughs> I've been eyeing up something like the Insta 360, um, which I am kind of still interested in. Uh, if I'm brutally honest, uh, just the editing process of it all seems a bit too 
lethargic, too um, a bit too tiresome really, because uh, I don't want to edit on my phone. I don't have a tablet, which seems like the best bet. See some people editing on the new iPad, but I'm certainly not buying an iPad just to edit videos. I've got a brand new MacBook. Um, so until they <coughs> their operating system, their editing software gets a little bit better, um, I don't think I will purchase the 360 camera because um, I think I could just do the same with this this here so if we wanted a low shot I'll just turn you around like this and now hopefully we've got a bit more of a low shot wheel but at the same time I am having to stick a pole quite close to the floor for this this shot and this is what my whole argument is with myself is that now I've got to really focus on other other parts of the ride, not just not just me. Now I've got to watch out for this pole, and I'm trying not to apply too much attention to the angle. You know, getting the shot, that sort of stuff. But you know, I get it. I get it. You can bring it round. It looks cool. There's a guy on YouTube. I really enjoy his videos. <coughs> His, his channel's called Chooch Tech, C H O O H maybe Tech. Um, you know, I watch a bunch of his videos. He's great. He looks like a, such a solid rider, um, and he gets to play with all those really cool fast wheels. And he goes does off roady stuff. Anyway, go check him out. He's really cool. But he has he has a camera like this. I feel like it's a GoPro and he yeah basically does exactly what i do so when he turns it over it just flips around but he doesn't actually do any audio he just puts some techie tunes over the top um, which is great i like it it works i enjoy watching it um but, you know i like to add a bit more texture to it with my voice um, which seems to be doing all right. I do quite enjoy it. Um, and I think just being able to get angles like this, I think it's a bit more personal too. But we've got cyclists coming up. So again, it's like having to be more aware. But that's all right. I guess we can pick and choose the environments. I reckon it's because I'm down one camera. I lost a GoPro uh, a couple of months ago back in Switzerland, which is funny because it's a Hero 5 and it was all locked up. Uh, but somehow got a bit of water damage in the screen. Um, unfortunately, it was. Um, let's put you over here. It was out of his warranty, his year warranty thing. Um, so I couldn't take it back. So actually, what I'm going to do. So we'll go have a look over here. But I want to go down onto this as a cycle path. So I've already done a video down here. So the cycle path just, just below us. And the only way possible from this point is to go down that set of stairs. So <coughs> we'll go hit up the stairs and um, take it down there. Boop. Yes, yes. Oh, I am going to enjoy the extra effort I'm putting into getting these different angles. Um, let me know if it makes a difference. I feel like it does. That was why I was really pushing towards getting the uh, Insta360 but the whole editing process just seems just seems too long um, so yeah I don't think it's for me and that Chooch Tech Chooch Tech he gets I've seen him get plenty of comments of people saying oh, you should get the get the Insta360 it'll be dope and you know what it would be dope it would be pretty sick but at the same time it's it, one, it's really expensive, uh, and two, just the extra editing time spent behind the computer. The idea behind these videos whoosh, is to spend more time outside, uh, less fancy angles, riding safe, which this feels very weird right now. I'm on this sort of gravelly stuff. Check it out. Whoosh. Yeah, Whoa. 
<laughs> it's like you turn and it that sort of sticks you. You stay stuck to oh, flipping out like that. Hopefully it gets a bit better. We'll try and mosey on through here nice and straight. So I was recording, I guess this could be a little bit of a breakdown into how I would set up my microphone and that sort of stuff. I've had a few questions about that um, and I have been meaning to do a video just on that setup. Uh, I may as well just talk about it now because that's what the test is kind of all about. Uh, so yeah, the external mic that I have I bought off Amazon, you can go check that out there. Um, I went through, that was like the third one I found that turned out to be really good quality um, and it's, it's the build quality is real nice too comes with a little um, tiny little dead cat thing a little muffly not muffly but I think that allows stops the um, the wind yeah dead cat I think but anyway yeah it's really good really good quality nice long cable um, so what I would what I was doing and what I probably still do on occasions is uh, so I plug it directly into my GoPro Hero 5 uh, and the five, you have to have the big chunky brick thing on there. Which, you know what, honestly, it's not that big of a problem. Uh, it's not ideal, you know, GoPro. I'm sure everyone's aware, just sort it out, put a, th put a bloody head uh, microphone jack on there like Sony does. You know, the Sony, what that's called, the Sony X3000. Um, do, do something like that. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, uh, so that, that's what I do. I basically attach the microphone to my helmet here. And then with that, I just wrap it around, thread it through in and out of all the little holes, and then just attach it on the top to the big chunky brick thing. And then that will go into the GoPro. Now, what has happened on many occasions, hey, check it out, we've got some hills. <laughs> bit like uh, Malmo those giant hills let's see if we can go up them let's go up this one first nope not today that did not it's so wet Ooh. <laughs> did not work I reckon we get up this red one let's get up this red one so now I'm having to flip the footage around but that should be alright yeah, here we go here we go nice we get a nice little view from up at the top here I do like how we're getting all these different angles so anyway I would then attach it to the GoPro through that brick thing but the problem that I found I have found with that on quite way too many occasions now is I just don't know if it's recording um, the sound quality is amazing through that that little brick device uh, you know as you've heard through all my other videos the sound quality is spot on I love it uh, and I certainly will use it in the future I'm not gonna sell it or you know give it away or whatever um, yeah it's really good but it's that one problem you just can't there's no options on the camera to be able to see whether or not the mic inputs working and that's why I've ended up buying this zoom HN1 device just sat snugly in my pocket so like say like right now for if I had a you know I thought, is it still recording? I'm going to pull it out of my pocket like this. Boop. And I can see the record button's going. I can see the levels. I can make sure we're recording at the right level. That's actually moved slightly. There you go, move up a little bit better. And it's there, it's recording. Now it's recording directly onto a micro SD card. Um, so, yeah, a lot better. A lot better. The only thing is, is that I have to hold the camera the whole time. I'm going back and forth with this, back and forth. You know, I'm, I'm literally just chatting complete breeze, jibber-jabber. 
<laughs> I'm just excited to be out really uh, I've got to show off there's a tech technical rehearsal um, for one of the languages I think German yeah the German language um, and then that's it for today so I've got that off and it's not raining it's been raining on and off here um, even though it's chilly but got the new jacket on love these gloves and I got some little thermal leggings so we're doing all right we're doing all right now because it is actually right now one degree celsius um, so it's getting chilly it's getting brisk it's quite nice I will say quickly at my wheel so I've reached over 1500 miles on my InMotion V8 and I'm definitely due for a new wheel uh, and it's a little bit bul 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 bulby it's a bit wobbly when you go quite fast it it wobbles a bit uh, so I need to find and source a new one of them now just quickly check this out whoop I call it a spiral staircase all the way around there I'm gonna uh, go up it let's go up it together let's go up together I'll wait for this cyclist <laughs> give her a head start <sighs> go down this way trying to feel out the angles here we go up we go come on V8 I know it's got it ooh overtake on the left oh yeah anybody else who owns EUCs we just love doing that just speeding past cyclists on the hills <laughs> all right we've just come on to some sort of motorway bridge so I'm gonna go back down just for giggles and there is a pretty cool looking look at that now that is that is awesome you see that there's like a a mini golf a mini golf a free mini golf place oh there's like a swimming pool over there what is that place is that a sauna so the only thing is with this is that I've got you on the super wide view on the uh, the GoPro here. I just put a little marker. Have a little look. Make sure we're right. I put a little marker on there to make sure that we we get the right settings. Now quickly, I've got to take a photograph of this. My friend at work. Oh my! There's a little bouldering wall. Okay, that is cool. So I pull my phone out without hitting the microphone and take a little photograph from our friend because that is maybe get a better shot sorry i got a glove in my mouth <laughs> get a better shot here that is very cool i might even get a silly selfie take the glove out of my mouth sorry about that Oh, other way. Boo, 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 boo. Put a silly face. I love a silly selfie. Take life too seriously sometimes. Silly selfie. Oh, there's another uh, another curly whirly bridge thing over there. Oh, that is cool. There's a little skate park down. Let's go check that out. It's got some little bumps and stuff we can uh, do a bit of work on. A bit of work. A bit of play. So that's the thing now, like in between me adjusting the camera, you get a bit of motion sickness, which is where I reckon an additional camera on my helmet would come in, come in really nicely basically going back to what it kind of was but with better knowledge of knowing that the audio is recording 
I've done a few little tests before I come out um, and uh, the sound sounds the sound quality sounded pretty nice so we've arrived at this little pump track whoop hey I don't know if you've ever been on a little pump track on your wheel before you should definitely give it a go it's a lot of fun pleasantly surprised as to how well they handle there's actually uh, this this girl on Instagram that in motion uh, featured on their their Instagram page she's doing some stuff on the little pump track it's pretty cool so I wonder if we can set you up for a moment let's have a look set you up on here bear with me take my glove off oh bugger Whoop. okay boop 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 turn you around so this is the only thing isn't it you have to like is that gonna work I don't know I don't know is it gonna work now oh god look at the crazy angles what am I doing maybe I'll use my glove just for this nah sorry about this guys totally unprepared maybe like that oh that's a bit better can you even see anything there uh, okay that might work for a moment I'm just going to leave you there and then with one glove on the audio can come with me okay now you get I'm off camera a little vision a visual wee through the puddle of the little pump track oh that that bit of water is not it's not enjoyable I'll be honest let me go up go down going backwards on this is fine but when you go backwards up a hill it's so bizarre because it wants to sit level maybe we can if we can go to the top do a little turn woohoo turn them backwards maybe oh I wonder if we go up it backwards if you can see me oh that is bizarre that is such a bizarre feeling let's have another guy oh Jesus flipping heck I'm going to pick you back up only because my hands are really cold <laughs> yes I reckon if we had the head cam on we could switch in between angles then and you probably won't feel so so nauseous Get my glove back on here. All right. So we. Oh, flipping it! I'm so sorry. I'm throwing you all over the place. <coughs> it's all right, Neil. It's all right. If we can uh, have another shot at this. Oh God! Arm out like that is. Nope. That's just all kinds of wrong. <sighs> Go for this big one. Oof. Woohoo! This is a lot of fun. Look at this angle. Now, what's going on? With sound effects there. Through the water. Whoop. Up. Little spinner roo. Whoop. You can do a little jump here, possibly. This little guy. Whoop. Very nice. Pump track. Thanks. Thanks, Cologne. I think what it, the angle, what would make the angle better here is if uh, I actually had a longer stick, a longer pole. Okay, how long have we been going? 25 minutes. I didn't want to make this too long, 
but they seem to be knocking around the half an hour mark these days. Oh, shut up. Are these trampolines? Oh my goodness. Okay, this could be a really bad idea. Yeah, this is a bad idea. I'm going to put you down. Uh, but you can watch. Maybe we can stand you up here. Like that. Does that work? Can you see what I can see? There we go. Wicked. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm not done a backflip in ages. Now, as some of you know from my channel, I don't need to go that high actually. Um, I'll just do a standing backflip. Oh, good lord! What was that? That was shocking. All right, let's give that another go. The helmet put me off. Let's get a bit of a bounce. Nah, let's do standing. We can do standing. Okay. Good tuck. There we go. It wasn't the cleanest backflip I've ever done, but you get the point. A little trampolines there. It's pretty cool. And I've just spotted, check this out, um, a little pump track. Not a pump track. A uh, little, what would you even call it? little race track for bicycles. How cool is that thing? <laughs> Look at that. All right, I might leave you here, like so. And I might go and have a little, yeah, that works out pretty well. You guys stay there, I'm just gonna go, woo, grab the wheel, Neil's wheel. And I'm going to join you on the pump track here. Hey. Oh, sugar. <laughs> I guess something like this would be a lot of fun. A good place to learn. Come and play on your wheel. Learn your cornerings. Uh. <laughs> this is quite good, actually. I'll come and pick you up. So actually, I'm glad I came this way. I wasn't sure um, whether or not I should go right at the river or go left at the river. And I seen there was a big play park, Spielplatz, this side. So I'm glad I came this way. Ooh, that looks a bit uh, looks a bit wet. Let's pop off this here. Go with this thing, whoop. Go around the trampoline. I reckon we can go on the trampoline. Should we try that? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> oh, that would be cool if I can ride off. Ride off. Oh, he does it! Did you just see that? That was epic. I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Let's try it again. This time I'm going to go this one over here. It's a bit of a run up. Oh, I love it. So cool. Right, one more go. One more go on the other side. Bit of a steeper. Uh, uh, tricky, tricky. I'm going to set you up on the side here so uh, we can get a bit of better foot, a bit of better. I don't know if that's going to reach, you know. Let's have a look. What angle are we working with here, Neil? Oh no, that kind of works. You get the idea. <laughs> this is cool. Bringing the wheels to the trampolines. Yes. I'm going to park it in the corner here. 
Come back up for another go. What? <laughs> Come on. I'm bouncing on my wheel on a trampoline. Has this ever been done before? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that was a save and a half. Okay. Now that is a lot of fun. Oh my, oh my. What else have we got around here? We've got a little mini court. Mini court there. I can stand you up here. Maybe you can get me do some little twizzles. Woo! This is a move I've trying to be I've actually not been practicing these that much. I should be practicing a lot more, to be honest. Maybe we can work on some figure of eights. Back. Oh, no. Lost it. Trampoline's got me all, all over the place. It's like that moment where you go over there, and you switch. Like tricks, weird EUC tricks. This one, that one, let's go the other way and forward, back. The silky worm, I just made that word up. <laughs> okay, come with me. Amazing. All right. You lovely friends, thank you for bearing with me on this bit of a weird yet wonderful video. Ugh. That's 33 minutes there. Hope you enjoyed that one, a bit of a different one. Um, it's fun to get out and about and check out new places and test out Neil's new microphone. So I'll see you guys next one. Yeah, I'm not sure when this will come out. Might just check it out in a few days. Today is Friday. I just released the Cologne touring video around the city centre. Um, yeah, that came out today. I've got those three, three uh, quick review videos from the other wheels and then this one. So, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're staying warm in your colder climates and staying cool in your warm climates. Um, you get what I'm saying. I'm just chatting now uh, i'll see you guys in the next one take it easy live laugh and love peace